in this module we shall look at the definitions of major risks faced by islamic banks or the major risks inherent in islamic modes of finance it is important to look at the nature of these uh, risks their definitions before we start citing them heavily in the subsequent modules credit risk we said is one of the major risks faced by islamic banks because of some of the islamic modes of financing used by them actually credit risk is relevant to all the islamic modes of finance in fact if i tell you credit risk is relevant to all modes of financing whether they are conventional or islamic whenever you are extending a loan or whenever you are extending a finance facility to someone there is always a chance that the person would either not pay at all or would delay dost aur bhai tak bhag jate hain that is actually called credit risk so credit risk is the loss of income arising as a result of the counterparty you know it could be a borrower it could be someone who has got financing on credit basis or someone has bought a commodity and has to pay for it in that payment or time or in full as a contractually agreed so this is actually credit risk when someone doesn't pay in time in time means when the person was required to pay or doesn't pay at all credit risk arises and as i said this exists in all modes of financing market risk market risk may arise due to several macroeconomic and transaction specific factors it is a risk associated with the overall market because of any changes in the market if there are some relevant factors which have affected a transaction that would give rise to market risk it ranges from equity risk to a lot of other risks in case of equity risk for example if the stock market has crashed so there is a huge drop in the stock market and the bank islamic bank is actually listed on on that stock market of course its stock market valuation or market capitalization would go down which would have a huge impact on its risk profile market risk may also be transaction specific for example in selam transactions it may be related to the price of the commodity to be delivered third risk is markup risk markup risk is also known as benchmark rate risk it is relevant to fixed return kind of modes of financing which are like murabha salam and in some cases it it would be ijara as well if it's not a variable rate ijara but primarily murabha and salam based transactions or murabha as a mode of financing and salam as a mode of financing would have relevance to markup risk it is also relevant to other modes of finance but is more manageable in case of ijara musharaka and mudaraba commodity asset price risk this risk arises due to movement in the prices of the assets or commodities to which 
Islamic banks have exposure because of use of a certain mode of finance. In case of Ijara, Musharaka, Mudarba, and Salam, it is quite evident. In case of Murabaha transactions, it is more manageable. Why? As we would see, in case of Murabaha, the first purchase and the second sale, they are quite close to each other. Hence, the exposure of the bank to the commodity asset price is rather limited. Liquidity risk. Liquidity risk arises from either difficulties in obtaining cash at reasonable cost from borrowings. This is known as funding liquidity risk or a sale of assets called asset liquidity risk. Basically, the bank ke paas paison ki kami ho jaye kisi bhi wajah se. To usko hum liquidity risk kahe. If the bank is not able to get financing on reasonable rates and hence it faces certain restrictions in its doings, in its business, that is an example of liquidity risk. Or if the bank has got assets but it is not able to sell these assets in the market for the price it is looking for that would give rise to liquidity risk as well. So, in the absence of possibility of securitization of several portfolios, Islamic portfolios, liquidity risk is quite paramount in Islamic banking and finance. Operational risk. Operational risk, as I said earlier, this is extremely relevant to Islamic banking and Islamic modes of financing because Islamic modes of finance and their applications are quite complicated. Hence, the chance of making a mistake is higher in case of Islamic modes of finance as compared to the conventional modes of finance. Operational risk ko asan lafzo mein kahen तो ये किसी एम्प्लॉई की गलती भी हो सकती है ये कंप्यूटर के सिस्टम में भी प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है ये ऑपरेशनल रिस्क की एग्जांपल है कि आपने किसी को दस हजार रुपये भेजने हैं और गलती से एक जीरो और लगा दिया तो ये ऑपरेशनल रिस्क होगा ऑपरेशनल रिस्क इंक्लूड्स एम्प्लॉज रिस्क समटाइम्स इट्स नोन एज पीपल रिस्क इट इज ऑल्सो relevant to technology risk and of course anything which may affect the reputation of an institution, reputation of an Islamic bank, that could be an example of an operational risk as well. And this is relevant to all Islamic modes of finance. Legal risk. Risk of adverse interpretation of Islamic contracts by a court. जनाब जज साहब उनको इस्लामिक लॉ का पता नहीं है उनके पास एक इस्लामिक बैंकिंग का केस आया उन्होंने अपनी सोच और अपनी समझ बूझ के मुताबिक उस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट को इंटरप्रेट किया और धड़म से फैसला दे दिया और वो फैसला एक्चुअली इट क्रिएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ लीगल रिस्क फॉर एन इस्लामिक बैंक एंड बाय द वे दिस इज़ ए मेजर रिस्क फेस बाय इस्लामिक बैंक in a lot of jurisdictions, the judges, they do not know anything about murabaha. And I can tell you certain cases where the judge would not be able to pronounce even murabaha. Mubaraha, Muzaraba, whatever they call it, especially if the first language of the judge is not Urdu or Arabic or Farsi, they come up with very funny pronunciations of these Islamic modes of finance. Now again, legal risk is relevant to all the Islamic modes of finance. Withdrawal risk. This is relevant to profit sharing investment accounts. In case the rate of return on profit sharing investment accounts is lower than the return offered by other banks, then 
this uh, risk becomes uh, quite relevant. There could be a switch of business away from an Islamic bank and this is relevant to some of the Islamic modes of finance. Fiduciary risk. The contract requires Islamic bank to behave like this, in this way. However, the bank's employees they have not been able to fulfill the requirements of that contract. This would give rise to fiduciary risk. And it is relevant to quite a number of practices and products in Islamic banking and finance. Displaced commercial risk. This is the amount of provisions an Islamic bank should keep in the wake of fluctuations decrease or increase, especially decrease in the performance of a portfolio held by an Islamic bank. This is a risk which is uh, related with withdrawal risk and we shall be looking at one example of displaced commercial risk in the context of profit sharing investment accounts.